In this neutralization reaction, we have phosphoric acid plus potassium hydroxide. That gives us the salt, potassium phosphate, and water. So we'll start by counting up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have the three hydrogens here, plus we have one in this potassium hydroxide, so we have four hydrogens. And then I want to count this phosphate here as just one item. I have a phosphate here and a phosphate here. So if I just call it one thing, that makes counting the oxygens up a lot easier. I have one potassium, and then this oxygen here is separate from the PO4, so I'll count that. On the product side, I have the two H's here. I have one of the PO4s. I have three potassiums, and then oxygens, I have the one over here. Why don't we start by fixing the potassiums? It's usually easier to leave the uh, hydrogens and oxygens till last. So I have three potassiums, so I'll put a coefficient of three in front of the KOH. That means I have one times three, and that balances the potassiums, but I need to update the O and the H. So now I have one times the three for the oxygen. That gives me three oxygens, and then we need to update the hydrogens. So we have our three hydrogens here, plus we have the one times the three, that gives us three. We have six hydrogen atoms. Let's fix the hydrogen. If I put a three in front of the H2O, then two times three, that'll give me six hydrogens. So those are balanced. And then the water, the one times the three, that gives me three oxygens, which balances the oxygens. So at this point, everything's the same on each side of the equation, and we're done. It's balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H3PO4 plus KOH yields K3PO4 plus H2O. And thanks for watching.